Hello guys, how are you? Thank you for watching. This is another video from IamSoftwareArchitect.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to call a local and remote HSV using uh, WebLogic application server. Let's start. First of all, let's create our, oh my God, it's here. So the domain this let's use this uh, finished. Uh, then let's create an HSB project. This is the name A HSB project and default default generate a gsb jar no i hate the scriptors okay you don't remember me this don't remember me this ne then let's create to a web dynamic web project this is v web project um, web logic version 3 then that's right generate web xml there you go so let's create an enterprise application this is letter c here project it contains both projects let's start okay let's add this add project project so apply reference is okay it's automatically so there you go let's create our uh, first uh, we need a package a package it's a com rbg hsv test okay let's create an hsv stylist call it my hsv let's use we are going to use local and remote interfaces and there you go so let's fix some things here let's name the name my hsd So let's implement register the string get grid thing. So this is the local. Let me do this in in remote. Uh, let's implement the method remove this thing I'll write the famous hello world message um, so it's here let's compile clean okay then we need to create a servlet to call call it the locally we need to package a package from RBG HSV test create no let's create a serv servlet call it local controller so 
so let's create with this finished let's call let's use the ADSV annotation and guys this is very important the bin name attribute to refer this is my AJSB and this is a pre-date my AJSB local my AJSB there you go so let's remove this now remove here this um, let's create thing so local code right so let's clean everything let's start with this this guy while this guy starts let's create another project web dynamic web this is the from this project we are going to call a remote in a remote way web project then generate this This is D again another servlet we need the package the package uh, com remote RBG RBG remote AJSB we are need a servlet controller controller okay another servlet okay let's do create the reference be using the hsb annotation then we are going to use lookup attribute and we are going to refer it in a standard way java and global global mm, the name of the application is c here here the name of the module is e abg project E A A B G project then the name of the this is the name and exclamation mark then the name of the remote okay then we need the the this so but we have a problem because we need to export this project as a we need to export it the project export export as a jar file browsing in ABG let, let's leave here okay override if it exists let's oh my god this is this is here 
let copy this JR manually we have to add in delivery there you go now we private my HSB remote my remote HSB uh, let's remove this and let's remove this this is a remote call so we have here this great greetings there you go guys everything is okay according with this here okay let's clean everything now let's deploy it this first I hope this run without any problem so there you go guys let's start let's oh it seems everything is okay and let then what run the second finished so go to opera and let's call our component the with the name what is the name of this controller click the controller oh there you go okay this is the remote called guys and let me call in this AB this is the local call okay can you see this okay finally we have uh, finished with this I wait for you in the next video is the same exercise but we are going to use uh, IBM web Suite application server is the same with this this style we are uh, you are going to show how see how uh, with this same code uh, works properly see you guys thank you for watching